What is going on guys? Thank you for tuning in to yet another episode of Rocket Vlogs. Today, it's the return of the Sanding Channel. Luckily, these fillets are pretty small and uh, shouldn't be too bad. Yes, we are working on the upscale rocket that shares the same name as my nickname in high school, the Fat Boy. All jokes aside, my big goofy seven and a half inch Fat Boy with its big goofy pretend launch lug. Ooh, I'm gonna have to sand that down a little bit before we spray it. And it's big, giant, goofy gel coat nose cone that I love so much. It's so fun. I'm just so used to seeing that shape, that profile in the tiny, like, BT-5 mosquito nose cone. So it's just, it's just really fun to have a huge one. Anyway, we're just going to sand this, uh, sand these fillets out, start spraying primer, get it all prepped for paint. First, if you guys watched the last video, you'll recall that the previous owner of my Red Max kit, who bought it and then sold it to me unbuilt, uh, also sent me a set of decals. The decals were the wrong size, at least the body wrap. Hold on a second. They're over there. Thankfully, Mark at StickerShock23.com hooked it up and we have a new set, so we're gonna put those on first and then we'll get to sanding. I also bought the Fat Boy decals for this. They're big, I love it, but you guys can't see them yet because I'm not putting them on yet. Today is July 31st and it's the final day to sign up for Patreon and still be entered for a chance to win the High Power Rocket giveaway that we're doing for the month of August. You can join at any level, five, 10, or $25, and you have a chance to win the Rocket. We did a poll as of now. It looks like the giveaway rack is going to be a Wildman Punisher SS. You guys know me very well, and I'm glad you appreciate the Punisher as much as I do, because there are some very cool rockets on that as well. However, if you're not on Patreon yet, you do have a chance to sway the poll, so join the Patreon, let your vote be heard, and then have a chance to win the rocket that you guys pick. For now though, I'm going to go grab the Red Max, and we're gonna start putting the decals on so it can finally look complete. Then that's done and ready for electronics bay ground testing, and we can move on to the Fat Boy. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is a big giant Dare Red Max. Litter, still, not kidding when I say, easily one of my favorite rockets I own. This thing is so cool. Like, it's big enough that it's sort of impressive and you know, you can fly it on a pretty good sized motor without busting any wavers open, I mean, 75 two grains probably only gonna take this thing 6,000 feet or so and you know we're gonna put an aero pack on there's so any 54 it's light enough with the nose going on it probably only weighs like 10 pounds k550 is all day long to be perfect shout out to my dad for repainting this nose cone while I was out of town after I ruined it so I sanded it all down again, but I went out of town last weekend for work, which by the way, I have a new position. I'm now the social media manager of Motor Biscuit. So if you'd like to help me out for free, please go check out the Motor Biscuit YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button, and uh, follow us on Instagram and everything like that. It's now me entirely running those outlets. So, very cool, I'm super excited. Definite dream job, I get to, you know, make videos and post pictures about cars for a living now and it's it's pretty insane i was already pretty dumbfounded that i was allowed to write about cars for a living but now i've managed to bamboozle my way into an even cooler position so look at it it's just a huge red mag nice <laughs> it looks pretty sick well time to stop procrastinating
All right, here's a new one potentially if you're relatively new to rocketry. This is a gel coat nose cone. So just like it's a two piece mold. So just like a little Estes kit, you get to uh, sand the seam away. Except it's a lot easier because you know, it's gel coat. So luckily it's 103 degrees out today. Right now it's probably down to a nice cool 98 or so. But it's making the paint dry really fast. There's a couple imperfections on the fins. So uh, the primer tacked up, you know, in 10 minutes. So I wet sanded them smooth. So we're gonna spray this. Hopefully it doesn't try to wrinkle. It's been drying for a little while. Alright, next day update, I got all the fins all masked off and I uh, wanted to spray it standing up so I built a nice little tape dam to make sure I don't get any overspray on the inside there. The rib came out looking pretty dang good. It's uh, I still think it's a little bit, maybe a little darker than the traditional fat boy color, but uh, a little less purple. But I don't know, it, it looks pretty good. It actually looks a little darker on camera than it does in person too. but. Anyway, the paint went on pretty smooth and it looks pretty nice. There's some little imperfections here and there and the masking isn't, you know, perfect, but I've kind of uh, steered away from the perfection aspect of my finishes because I'm starting to more and more adopt the mindset that the more time you spend making it look good, the less likely it is that you'll get it back. So uh, yeah, I mean, they look good on camera and they look good from 10 feet away, like the Red Max there. And that's really all I need, right? So if you come see these rockets in person at a launch, don't get too close. But otherwise, from this distance, they look great. I realize how this looks, especially after just having shot that clip like five hours ago where I was like, I don't care. Uh, but now I'm wet sanding it because I didn't like how it looked. You win some, you win some. Um, yeah, the texture on the airframe was just not passable. Especially, get the nose cone. Look how good that looks. Probably especially on camera. Does it look extra busting on camera? Yeah, it does. So, the airframe just did not have that going on. So right now, there's three coats of red and a coat of clear. It's been drying for about seven hours. It's 105 outside, so it's pretty well cured. So we're wet sanding it uh, with 800, then we're gonna go 15. And then I'm thinking maybe I'll put the decals on and we'll go from there as far as polishing it or clearing over top of it. Looks pretty cool. Yeah. Unfortunately, there's some issues I'll show you here in a second. Um, we haven't put the fat stickers on the fins yet because we're letting the clear coat dry. Um, but yeah, we had a bit of a malfunction when I was prepping it and you can maybe see it on camera, like the tip of that fin. There's some touch up spots. And because of the gap, I'm probably gonna repaint the top edge of the tube as well, just with a brush or a Q-tip or something. Um, but this is far from a finished paint job, unfortunately. I'll show you in a sec after this has a chance to dry. If it tacks up good enough, 
we might put the fin decals on it today. One more reminder, today is your final day to join the Patreon if you'd like to be entered to win the free Wildman Punisher SS. It's a 1.6 or 2 inch kit. I think it's a 1.6. No, I guess it's got to be a 2 inch. But it comes with a 38 millimeter mount. So you can put some pretty gnarly motors, you can put a J in it and use proper Punisher techniques. But anyway, you have a chance to win one for free if you join the Patreon at any level. And a bunch of other cool stuff goes on there. There's another big giant rocket coming that's in the mail that comes tomorrow actually. And uh, they already know what it is. I do real time updates with projects that I'm working on and I try to do weekly update videos even if I don't post one on a Sunday. But I've been so busy I haven't been keeping up with that very well. But anyway, patreon.com slash rocket vlogs. It helps me out a lot. These projects and stuff, you know, they're things that I want to do, but the Patreon money helps offset the costs of traveling to do launch videos and stuff like that. And I know launch videos are what a lot of you guys like to see because those are the ones that get the most views. Also, uh, my analytics informed me that most people watching these videos are returning viewers but not subscribed. So hit the subscribe button. I'm going to try and set up another giveaway at 20,000. Hopefully it'll be something good. Not that the last ones weren't good because they were pretty cool, but anyway. Here's the completed, uh, this is a technically, a, I guess, a Smokin' Rockets Chubsy um, Performance Hobbies, Ken Allen. Um, you can contact him and see if they, he has these in stock. They are a little bit hard to get a hold of because of the manufacturer, but uh, yeah, it looks really, really good. As always, Mark from Sticker Shock killed the decals, but I had a bit of an issue when I was wet sanding and I went through the paint. So now I get to show you guys a cool video on how to repair uh, just certain parts of rockets. We're gonna just mask it and leave uh, as much of the current paint that's on there covered as possible so we have a lot of sources to blend from. And there's just some general touch-ups to do but otherwise it's pretty awesome. It's super, super light. I think it only weighs about six pounds so it's gonna rip on an I-600. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching Rocket Vlogs. It really means a lot to me that you guys are here and you keep coming back. It's a lot of fun and uh, honestly, I would dip in and out of rocketry. So having you guys uh, be excited about my projects and stuff too definitely helps keep the Rocket Factory uh, production rate flowing. And uh, yeah, so thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.